Hi, I'm Shane from Ammon Arsenal. Today we're going to use the Adobe Customization Wizard 11 to build a silent installation for Adobe Reader 11. Uh, you can use the Customization Wizard for other Adobe products such as Acrobat. First of all, you have to download it. So just Google Adobe Customization Wizard 11 uh, and just download that installation and install it from, uh, from Adobe's site. We are going to go ahead and take it uh, from there. We've already installed it. And now we've also downloaded the latest version of Adobe Reader. You can see that EXE right there. It's Adobe Reader 11, um, update 10. So the first thing we have to do is extract the MSI file uh, or files from this EXE. We're going to go to Start, Run, drag this right there. And we're going to have to type in a couple of commands here or a couple of parameters to extract that. Dash NOS underscore O. And then we're going to type in the path where we want this to go. I'm just going to do the temp directory. So it's a percent temp. We'll call this reader. Uh, close quote. Space dash NOS underscore NE. Perfect. Say OK. Now we're going to be extracting this. While that's extracting, I'm going to go to my temp directory. And you'll see there's our reader directory right there. And it's all been, everything's been extracted now. Notice there's the MSI, that is Adobe Reader 11, the base version. And then there's the update 10 to get that up to the latest, up to the latest version. All right, I'm actually going to copy just for, just for the, this demonstration. Uh, I'm going to copy that reader directory over to my desktop. And now I'm going to open up the Adobe Customization Wizard that we just installed. Brings you this. It's going to ask you, OK, open the install file, which happens to be the MSI. So there's our Acro read. It's under the reader directory. Open that up. And this will see, oh, OK, this is the Adobe Reader. Um, if, there was, if this was Acrobat, then you would uh, have these uh, fields enabled. So you could type in the serial number and the registered user, et cetera. We're going to use the EULA option to say uh, suppress that. The installation, uh, we are going to um, make Reader the default PDF viewer. Uh, the run installation, we're going to make that run silently, no interface. We don't want the user to see anything. And we're going to suppress a reboot. Very important. And then a couple of other options. If you would need files, add files or folders, uh, you can do that. We're not going to do any of that here. We are going to disable the Adobe Reader short, uh, 11 shortcut on the desktop. We're just Highlight that and say remove. We don't want that on the desktop. Uh, security, I'm going to take it uh, from the default to uh, the protected view files for potentially unsafe locations. So just go through here, customize it the way you want. When you're done, save it, and then generate a transform. And I'm not going to overwrite the default transform, but I am going to uh, still place this one in the same directory. By the way, transform has a dot MST extension. We'll call this Adobe uh, Acro Read 11. Save it. Perfect. I'm going to close this window now. And uh, close my temp there. In Reader, you'll see now we've got the Acro Read 11 MST. So that's how you use the Adobe Customization Wizard to build your installation. Our next video, we're going to show you how you can deploy it using PDQ Deploy. All right, I'm Shane.